So you're interested in a career in IT. Now the first obvious question is, what should I start learning? And the answer is, it kind of depends. Because different career paths, cybersecurity, software development, DevOps, embedded software, gaming, data science, all of these career paths have languages and frameworks that you would need to know to get into them and be successful. But what if you're also not sure what you wanna be? Then what's the answer? Now today, I'm gonna to answer that question. I'm gonna give you three foundational skills that are broadly useful across all tech careers. So if you're just getting started and you don't know what to learn first, and you don't know what you want to do as a job, this video is for you. But before we jump in, we need to talk about the goals, the selection criteria. How did I pick these three things? And the first was that I wanna minimize backtrack. That means no wasted learning. I don't want you to have to unlearn or spend time learning something that doesn't promote good fundamentals that you're gonna to have to learn later. So no kicking the can down the road. Second, this is a shotgun approach we're going to deliberately pick skills that are as useful in as many career paths as possible. And third, we're going to target the most job opportunities as possible. In many of these career paths, there are multiple right answers. And when that happens, I'm gonna pick the things that will give you the most job opportunities. Now with these goals in mind, Let's get to the skills, which are in no particular order. The first skill is operating systems and networking. And this starts with how computers and networks actually function. Master the command line. Master basic operating system administration, especially Linux. And this is because cloud computing and modern application deployment predominantly uses Linux servers. So understanding networking fundamentals, IP addresses, ports, and protocols will support you across almost every career path because no matter what you're doing in IT, there is data that needs to get from point A to point B. And understanding server administration will give you that foundation. Now the next skill is SQL or structured query language. This is the standard language for relational databases. And when I said that applications move data from point A to point B, SQL is the top skill for working with that data. And as for where to start, SQL is kind of cool because it has an independent standards body. So regardless of whether you start learning on Microsoft SQL Server, Postgres, MySQL, or another database, the core of the SQL language remains the same, making it pretty easy to transfer to other vendors. And because every application interacts with data, and there are a lot of tools today for reporting and visualizing that data that non-IT workers use, if you do end up not going into IT, but move into a different business role, you will be better for having learned SQL. Now, finally, let's talk about programming languages. And specifically, I'm going to recommend C-based object-oriented programming languages like Java, C Sharp, or C++. Now there's a lot of reasons for this. One is that the core concepts of these languages will transfer into most programming careers. Now a lot of beginners get really hung up on the syntax, but for professionals, it's programming structure and organization that are the most important. And these three languages have very clear established patterns for code structure and organization that scales up to large teams. And when I said no backtracking, well, let me tell you, having taught thousands of learners over the last 10 years, it is much easier for someone to transition from these languages to other popular choices like Python and JavaScript than it is for people to go in the other direction. No backtracking. I don't want you to have to unlearn things. Also, when we consider the job market, if you look at all the combined jobs for Java, C Sharp, and C++, they vastly outnumber positions for other languages and frameworks. And in cases of economic instability or uncertainty, like we've been having in the job market for the last few years, these languages are first-class citizens in enterprises and government. And those are two places that tend to be a little more stable 
than those like the startups that use the hot new cool frameworks that you hear about on social media. Now let's wrap things up. If you're not sure about where you want to end up, then learning operating systems and networking, especially Linux, SQL, and a C-based programming language will put you in a situation where you are learning transferable skills, not just tools and frameworks. This foundation will work for just about any pathway. Software developer, games developer, DevOps engineer, data scientist, and so many more. Don't let uncertainty of where you're going to end up hold you back. Play the odds and start with these skills. Happy coding.